What's going on, Gemini? Welcome to your September 2020 Tarot and Astrology reading. My name is Tata Michelle, if you are new here. And we are not all love, light, twin flames, and unicorns over here, so please keep that in mind. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm just not that bitch. So thanks for coming. So welcome to your September 2020 reading. I already said that. Let's get into it. So this month, Gemini, honestly looks like a really social month for you. Um, there's a lot of relationship stuff, um, kind of, I feel like karmically coming to a close in some ways, like it could be past relationships, current relationships, I'm missing nails, so just excuse that. Um, and also just a lot of social stuff <laughs> is really what I see here. Um, it's very interesting though, because I feel like you're really weighing out a lot of things uh, when it comes to your social life or your relationship life. Just something to do with you and another person or you and other people. You're really kind of weighing out, I think, um, what like your truth versus someone else's truth or you know, kind of like give and take in relationships. I really, really see that for a lot of you guys. Some of you guys uh, could have you know, new people coming into your life, uh, new social, you know, circles, friends, relationships coming into your life. It's just a really busy month for your social life. Um, but there is still kind of this heaviness in Capricorn and Mars, you know, in a place for you that's also about your social life to where it's kind of like, what are you willing to give and what are you willing to take and what is the other person willing to give or the other people or the other party willing to give and what are they willing to take it's kind of like this balance in between the two that i see in your cards here and in your astrology so let's go ahead and go over your cards and then we'll get to the rest of your astrology so your first card you guys have is free from judgment free to love so this card really makes me think that you guys are ending some kind of cycle um with something like maybe there was some relationship either from the past or currently where it was like holding you back in some way like there was something about it holding you back or uh you were scared of being judged for something and that was holding you back um but either way i really see here that you're kind of releasing a lot of anger this month because we have the card anger <laughs> Um, I feel like you're releasing a lot of anger towards yourself or towards someone else this month and it's kind of lightening up that space for you, but at the same time kind of forcing you to ask the serious questions of what you owe to others and what you owe to yourself and vice versa. So we also have stripping illusions. So I also see that here in your reading and then we also have the power of attraction. So Gemini, you might have someone in your life it could be romantic, it could just be a friend, I don't know, but it, it seems like you may have someone in your life that you're really connecting with this month on a conscious level, like you guys are on that same wavelength, you're on that same kind of like mind frame, um, you're just kind of on the same level in a conscious way, and so I think that there is kind of this... Um, attraction there with someone and like I said it doesn't even have to be attraction like sexually intimately or physically it could just be a friend for some of you um but you know Mercury is in a place for you that is all about love romance and dating and Venus is in a place for you that is all about communication and meeting people so some of you guys could be venturing out having fun I wouldn't say that it's a good time for anything serious with Mars going retrograde this month but it is a good time if you're single to I don't know just talk to people <laughs> you know just nothing serious just have some fun and you know but um yeah that's kind of what I'm seeing here so far um it, it is kind of like a flirtatious fun social time in a way but also there is some heaviness there with that you know your responsibility versus someone else what's owed what's not these kinds of things so um the first week of September we have the moon card so we did actually have a full moon the first week of September, the Pisces full moon, which was in a place for you that was all about like your long-term goals, adulthood, where you see yourself in the future, your reputation, your career, the you know your life path, all of that kind of stuff. So this could have illuminated something for you in those areas. It could have also illuminated something for you when it comes to finances or some kind of deal or um, if something was fair or not in a certain situation. Um, it could have illuminated something for you that where maybe there was kind of this um, 
it, there's this theme, once again, that theme of like give and take. And so it could have definitely illuminated some things there. Um, there could have been some things that needed to be faced with ways that you were even holding yourself back in the department of moving on from something, um, of allowing yourself to um, either give of yourself or allowing yourself to not give in some kind of way. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm seeing for the first week of uh, September. There could have also been, for some of you, this could have been a financial deal or financial agreement or a commitment or something where your things are def definitely being illuminated in that department. So moving on to the second week of September, Gemini, we have the Justice card. So once again, very much about balance, very much about give and take. Mercury will be in Libra, which like I said, for you deals with romance, what you like to do for fun, um, children, these kinds of things. So you could really be weighing out your options around the second week. For some of you, this could be a contract that you are thinking about moving away from. For some of you guys, I feel like you're helping someone with something. Um, you're helping someone make a decision or you're making a decision um, about helping someone else. Um, or you're trying to get out of some kind of agreement or commitment to get to a smoother place in some way. So that's definitely what I'm seeing the second week of September for you guys. So moving on to the third week, we have the Ace of Wands clarified by the Three of Swords. So I feel like you guys are moving on from something like you're moving on from a heartbreak you're moving on from some kind of pain um it doesn't even have to be a heartbreak in the sense of a breakup although it could be that as well it's more so of like letting go of some kind of past mental and emotional um experience that possibly hurt you in some way now for others of you i feel like this could also be acting out of a hurt place um, you know, which like acting out of resentment or anger, because we do have the anger card. So the third week, I really think that you guys should probably be careful with acting out of anger or acting out of impulse because you are feeling hurt or you find out some kind of information that um, hurts you in some way. So I feel like it could go either way. I'm kind of getting both. I think it's going to be different for different ones of you. Um, but then on the fourth week, we have the Two of Pentacles, which once again, that kind of weighing things out. It's definitely a month of like weighing things out, seeing where things are. Um, Mercury is your ruling sign, so wherever it goes, you feel that heavily. So you're probably gonna feel a lot of Libra like energy in your, um, in your life in the month of September. Um, so yeah, with this fourth week, we also have the new moon in Virgo, your fellow Mercury ruled sign in a spot for you that is all about, you know, family and your home life and, um, you know, your past and things like this. And it's going to be squaring the nodes and your sign and your opposite sign of Sagittarius. So this is really weighing out. Possibly, I feel like you guys are trying to avoid confrontation is actually what I see here. You're trying to avoid confrontation in some way, but there's also like a chance of initiating it. Um, because you feel hurt or you feel um, just not in a good mood or something. Um, so I kind of feel like it's important to be aware of initiating conversation, but speaking your truth is not necessarily initiating conversation. You can do it in a way that's respectful and it's not like out of, um, you know, out of a need <clears throat> or a want to hurt someone else. Um, so I feel like there's kind of this avoidance, this back and forth of, um, you know, what what you should do in a situation. I also feel like this is a back and forth of if you should help someone or not. You may have a lot of people kind of like, or some people kind of like depending on you in some way um, or putting a lot of responsibility or stress on you to do a certain thing or to um, supply someone with something or to help someone in a certain way and you may feel like it's your responsibility for that reason and so yeah and at the bottom of the deck we even have temperance so what this tells me is that there is a way to negotiate if you cannot act out of impulse if you cannot act out of loss um, you know you will be able to negotiate um, if you can kind of see 
the bigger picture if you can um, th there's kind of this like I feel like push and pull between being mature about something or being immature about something um, so I think that it's really important that you guys try to um, stay in the flow and not necessarily resist anything but also um, you know, kind of try to keep the balance in some way. <laughs> Whatever situation this is, try to keep the balance, try to negotiate. Um, you know, there could definitely be a way to solve whatever this is if you are able to kind of look at all sides of the situation, which you guys are normally good at, and Mercury and Libra will help you with. Um, so that's kind of what I'm seeing there. So, um, and I kind of went over your astrology during the reading, so there's not really much more to go over besides Mars retrograding in a spot for you that's all about your social life, your dreams, um, what you want to do out in the world, this, that, and the other, and it's going to be squaring Capricorn, which is in a very kind of rough spot for you. So this is definitely going to be about what you feel you owe to other people versus what you feel people owe to you, your social life, you know, and how that may be putting stress on your own commitments, responsibilities, um, you know, maybe like causing you to lack in certain areas um, in certain ways. This could also bring up issues with like, you know, things that you have lost, like resources that you have lost that you are basically trying to fix in some way. Um, there could be like a friend wanting to borrow money or a friend that owes you money or something like that could bring up issues like that. So you definitely want to be kind of cautious about that in that regard. And then um, on the 17th, like I was saying, we have a new moon in Virgo, which is in a spot for you that's all about family, your home life, your past. So, you know, this new moon is definitely um, kind of forcing you to find a solution within the family that may be affecting your relationships or um, you versus other people um, or to even solve something that happened in the past. You know what I mean? To solve something that happened a while ago. You know, there could be um, kind of like a crossroads here of like what you want to do in your private life or when you're at home or, you know, with family versus, you know, you and your relationships and you and other people or you versus other people. So it's going to be important that you try to kind of find a solution or that you have to address something before you can move forward in some way. Um, so yeah, and Saturn goes direct at the end of the month on the 29th, so um, I feel like that's going to really help you start applying the lessons that you've learned with Saturn and Capricorn um, and really start um, being more responsible and putting things to work that maybe you've been um, working on for a long time in the department of breakthroughs, psychology, um, you know, working on yourself, healing old wounds and traumas. Um, you know, mortality, death, rebirth, you know, all of these different kinds of things. So, um, and other people's resources, debt, things like that. So anything that you've been working on there, I feel like you're going to really start being able to apply it towards the end of the month. So that is what I'm seeing for you guys this month, Gemini, in September. Um, if you want to know anything about personal readings, my Patreon, or anything like that, you can see the description down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my other videos.